Hey, hey! Whoa! Did you join the Adeptus Mechanicus? Is uh, that what's going on here? Oh, you're talking about my eyewear? Yeah. One of the wandering traders sold it to me. It looks pretty oh. cool, yeah? If you like being half machine. We got way too many robots in the party already. I don't want to be half robot. Well, I guess it's just eyewear. What is it, like Sam Fisher night vision goggles? Yeah, it starts with eyewear. Then you start improving your arm, get a bionic leg, maybe a bionic groin. So yeah, we should probably stop this. Why do you want a bionic groin? I just want a bionic spine. Why would you want a bionic spine? Because then I don't have to worry so much about it breaking. Might just be easier to put your body into a robotic body. Yeah, I mean, we can do that. Let's go check out the store, though. Oh, yeah, there's <laughs> Malcolm Holmes there. Oh, oh, so long ago. Remember him? Vaguely. Oh, wow, he really does not want to let go of this thing. <laughs> you can have it when you pry it from my cold, dead hands. And then we pry it from his cold, dead hands? No, you can keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Hope? She's not coming with us for now. Oh, is she on vacation? Yes. I'm trying to upgrade her at the moment. Oh, okay. Hello, Russell. Yeah? I'm going to start off with the obvious rude question. What the fuck happened to your face? Nothing. My face is just fine. I mean, you know it looks like roast beef, right? Asshole, you better stop right there, or I'll play tic-tac-toe on your face with my knife. Uh, it's not really a winning game. You would just play, like, Connect Four or something. You can try and play tic-tac-toe. It's impossible to lose that game, unless you're the one being stabbed in the face. It's also impossible to win. A curious game. It seems the only winning move is not to play. I think you're confusing tic-tac-toe with nuclear war. So, sir, what brings you to the Mojave? I followed a bounty here not long ago, but the trail ran cold. I've been getting by working as a caravan guard, but it's not the same. I should get back on the hunt, but I just don't know. I used to pride myself on finding every mark I was after, but I lost him. Sometimes you just gotta give up and quit trying. Heck no! We've gone after hundreds, tens of bounties, and we have never let anyone escape. How could you let this one person escape? No, yeah, you're an awful bounty hunter. If you can't find this guy, maybe we can. Tell us about this bounty you were after. Might as well, he's long gone. Fellow by the name of Glanton. Used to work as a scalp hunter for the NCR. See, back when the Republic was brushing up against some nasty tribals and raiders down south, they hired Glanton to clean them out. Glanton and his gang were making so much money that pretty soon they stopped caring about whose scalp they took, be it women or children. Brass tried to put a lid on it, declared him an outlaw, but it didn't matter. Settlers loved Glanton, made him into a hero. If settlers or miners run into trouble with tribals, they hire Glenn. It wasn't until recently that the government got serious about him. A few months back, the NCR finally put a bounty of 10,000 caps on his head. I decided it would be worth my while to go after him. Just my luck, he drifted south of the Mojave when I was trailing him. Rumor is that he was meeting up with some old accomplice, Judge Richter. Apparently this guy ran with Glenn years ago. You don't by chance know anything about him, do you? Uh, I killed the judge. Uh, I helped. Mike did most of the work, I just took the credit for it. If I remember correctly, you were ranting about lobsters the entire time. Wait, that was you? I heard the judge was killed by a pack of geckos. Ripped him to pieces. No, it was totally us. And now that we have impressed you with our bounty hunting abilities, maybe we can work together. Not a bad idea. Especially considering your background. Anybody who can take down Richter is qualified in my book. I do have to ask, though. You're not in bed with Caesar's Legion, are you? <laughs> no, they kind of suck. I mean, they're cool! One but... of those skirt boys? Hell no! <laughs> the red skirt boys, yeah! <laughs> Good to know. Look, I'd like to get started after Glanton right away. Are you ready to go? Yeah, sure. Good, now I guess we'll start where I left off, up north of town. A trader by the name of Tonopaw Tim said he sighted Glanton up there. Then let's go get God this guy! Damn heat is making my balls itch. <laughs> what do I hear a bunch of gunshots? Who killed these guys? Was that I don't know. While we were talking to Russell, some guy came around and killed a random mercenary and a... Oh! Oh, for <laughs> God's sake! Seriously? These guys again? Nor what is with these dudes? I don't know. Normally they don't attack so quickly in, in a row. They... Oh, I'm so sick of these organ harvesters. I'm going down here. Why do I even want your organs? Your organs aren't even that great. I like the riot shotgun. I'd like it better if it was a Benelli M1014, but that's not really going to happen. Why not? Because it would be anachronistic? Yeah, it would kind of be anachronistic. Would it be better than the gun you've got right now? It's a semi-automatic shotgun. So is um, that. 
Yeah, but this has a big old drum mag on it that looks stupid. You know my feelings on drum mags. No, what is your feelings on drum mags? Oh, I hate them. Why? Because they're dumb. This guy's running towards us. Gun's out. He might be asking for help. There's no reason to point your gun at him. Cool. <laughs> All right, he is on a mission. He's got places to go. Bye, Jasper. I don't even know who that character is, but... I have no idea who he is. <laughs> Yes, I don't like drum mags. Guns in general have had drum mags since, like, World War One, And it's only until now that they've actually managed to get one that works most of the time. Oh, they're very faulty? Yeah, they have a tendency to not work very well. As opposed to, what would you call the other ones? Stick mags or tube magazines. <laughs> they're called stick mags? Yeah, if you just, or like a box magazine, I guess, technically. I like stick mags better because it sounds silly. All right, everybody stack up. Should we prepare for a firefight and build a shack? Yes. This is the place. I searched it up and down, couldn't find shit. Maybe some fresh eyes will do the trick. Well, we gotta turn the light on. I turned the light on. Did you? I can't really see. These goggles are not translucent. You They're... might want to take those off then. Yeah, I can't really see where I'm going most of the time. No. Watch where you're going. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't see what I'm doing, man. I've got these stupid goggles on, they obscure my vision. And I'm not going to take them off because I paid a lot of money for them. Gee, I wonder where we could find a couple of secrets around here. I just don't know. Could be anywhere. Were you looking right at it? Nah, I have no idea. <laughs> I found a key. <laughs> ah, I can't believe it. You found Glanton's key. Wow, yeah, you really searched this place up and down, didn't you? The blind guy saw it before you did. <laughs> I found a safe key. But we don't know what it goes to. Also, you don't seem to care. Maybe that's not the only thing around here. Or maybe the safe is hidden somewhere, and I just don't see it. Not a noise. You found it! Yes, I did! Thanks to your help, Mike! <laughs> What's it say? You'll have to tell me, because I'm blind. Well, also, I'm the one reading it. What? <laughs> How are you supposed to see it from over there? What, are you looking at the back of the pit boy? <laughs> <laughs> it's the last night in the cabin, and I just felt like writing for some reason. Maybe it's the thought of Sandra. I can see her green eyes. Haunting me as we lie together, still young and bold, alive. Our cabin wasn't too different from this one. It was also a piece of shit. <laughs> was all this just a lie to make me feel alive again? Has it changed anything? It's quiet up here, except for Tucker's snoring. Who the hell's Tucker? The lights from Vegas peek through the cracks in the south wall. Some of the boys are bothered by the sound of coyotes, but they put me at ease. They're natural things, doing what they're supposed to. Maybe it's just my nature for what I've been doing. I feel it's going to end soon. We meet Hendershot tomorrow. Gonna need firepower for the next job. Damn, if it was a snake, it would have bit me. What's the note say? We, he just read it aloud, Russell. Open your ears. Are you deaf as well as blind? Yeah, I know you only have one eye, but anyone could have found that. No, that's not true. <laughs> You're not going to pick the mean option this time? No, I'm not going to pick the mean option this time because I tripped over it about four times. <laughs> I mentioned somebody named Hendershot. Do you know him? Never heard of him, but I know someone who might be able to point us in the right direction. Ex-Ranger by the name of Vickers lives in Freeside. Let's track him down and see if he can get us on track. All right, let's go. Bye. Fuck! <laughs> no, Why? <laughs> Every single time! I'm so time. confused by what is happening Every here. companion we recruit instantly goes hostile to me! I don't... Why? I, maybe he dislikes your eyewear. Russell is sleeping? Fuck it. Wake him up. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go. What the fuck? Y <laughs> yes? Uh, can... There's a UFO over there. What? I don't believe you. You're pulling my leg. Oh yeah, that's right, you got goggles on so you can't see anything. They're not goggles! You can see through goggles! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Freeside. It has been a while since we were here. I mean, it's been ages. I think it's been like ten minutes. Rat! Rat! <laughs> got it! How dare you! That rat population was keeping the cat down. <laughs> keeping the cat population down! <laughs> bang, 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 bang! Oh, look, he's got a fancy hat! That's what he did with all the money that we gave him, is he bought a hat. Hey, pal. You dig my new hat? I've been making some good money lately, and figured I'd treat myself. 
Treat yourself. Looks great, man. Exactly what I was thinking. It's nice to have a little style, you know? Style. But you're probably here for more of my special commodity. And luckily for you, I haven't been idle since we last spoke. Okay, give me some information. Northwest of the big freeside sign is a casino called the Atomic Wrangler. It's not as fancy as the ones on the strip, but there's still plenty of excitement to be found there. That was it? That's not really a good tip, Ruffus. I knew the Atomic Wrangler was there. Give me another one. Ever hear of the Gunrunners? They sell just about every kind of firearm you can imagine. None of your tips are really particularly helpful. We were just at the gun owners to pick up more ammo! Yeah, I just bought more stuff from them. Have you tried going to the strip only to be stopped by those big metal murder machines? Happens every day around here. But if you know the right people, you can get through the gate without being a rich man. Here's a little interesting tidbit behind the scenes, if you will. Ooh. Every companion in this game is part of a faction called the Don't Taze Me Bro Faction. Every other NPC doesn't have that, and if they try and go through the doors, they will be zapped by those Securitrons. <laughs> Seriously? So, Is it the... actually called the Don't Taze Me Bro faction, like, <laughs> yes. in the game code? In the game files. Oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing. It's just a secret hidden faction called Don't Taze Me Bro. That we are all part of. It's a secret. We are the Illuminati, Zach. We're the Illuminati? <laughs> Being part of the Illuminati means we have to gather all the information we can get. So tell us, Rotface, what secrets are you keeping? Come back in a few days. I'll put my ear to the ground and hopefully have heard a few more things by then. You don't have ears! Why do you keep rubbing that into his face? Because he keeps saying it. That guy didn't have any ears either, now he's dead. Bleh. Well, you can go take his ears, Rotface, he's not using them. I guess technically they're all over the place. They're so somewhere like, around here. You just gotta find them. You can have those ears, Rotface, but some assembly required. Did you know that the liver is a self-regenerating organ? Oh, look, it's Vickers. Vickers! Hello, Vickers. Can you spare a few caps, stranger? I'm a veteran down on his luck. Wait. Is that Russell I see with you? Y'all help me out, right? Rangers always stick together. I mean, I'm a veteran, so you should give me 50 caps. I don't think he has 50 caps. He's just got his ugly do-rag. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Give me everything you have. <laughs> How is that going to help? Because I have a gun. This is now a robbery. <laughs> he doesn't have anything, though. You, the only thing you can take from him is his life. And also maybe his ugly clothes. Here, give him 50 caps. Thank you. Much obliged. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I knew he was living on the streets, but... To be strung out like this? I never imagined it. This man was strong. A fucking rock. How did he end up like this? I can't even look him in the eyes. I can't look at him in the eyes either. I know how it feels. Hey, everybody falls down sometimes. He probably just needs some help. Yeah, maybe you're right. It's just not what I was expecting. See if you can talk to him about getting help. Then ask about the name. I wish to speak with you about your addiction. Because, you know, that's something that people are so willingly able to talk about. Addiction? Look, I'm, I'm just between jobs right now. And I get a little fix here and there to get me going. I'm, I'm fine, I swear. Get clean, you can look forward to a few more years of pain, regret, and self-loathing. <laughs> oh, God. Man, that self-loathing, that's what keeps me going every day. God, I hate myself. I'm just going to give you 100 calves because I would probably spend it on something stupid. But only if you agree to go to the followers. Bless you, stranger. I swear on my badge and my mother's grave, I'll see the followers. Hey, didn't you have a question that needed answering? Yeah, but look, it's not going to be hard to go see the followers. You literally have to walk 50 feet. They're right over there. In fact, if you wave at them, they'll probably come over to you and help you out. Yeah, they, you probably will. Just start throwing rocks over the wall. They'll come over here eventually. <laughs> We're looking for a guy named Hendershot. Where is he? Oh, yeah. He's a, he's a zombie arms peddler hidden away in Koya Mountain. Where that is exactly, I don't know. Know the man who can tell you, though. Ranger by the name of Handley. Used to be in Russell's unit. He'll know him. He knows the Spring Mountains better than anybody. That's why they got him up at the outpost on Mount Charleston. Give him my regards. I hate to say it, but I think he's gonna die in these streets. Let's get out of here, okay? Well, I just gave him a hundred caps to go over there. Yeah, so he's not gonna die in the streets, he's gonna die in the fort. We could pick him up and carry him. 
Or we could execute him if you really insist on him dying. Yeah, if you insist on him dying in the streets, we can do that right now. What is this? <laughs> How are you doing this? Witch! You're a witch! Witch! Help! I'm being carried off by a witch! Shut up, Vickers! This is good for you! Somebody help me! Help! I don't know who pays attention to the homeless anymore. <laughs> I just need some help. <laughs> <laughs> the followers will help you out! Farewell, Vickers! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, okay. Alright, we're fine. <laughs> uh, fast travel is not always the most reliable way to go. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way that Russell just slit his throat immediately upon seeing him. Yeah, jeez, Russell, calm down. <laughs> I, I see Russell as a combat veteran, knows a bunch of tricks on how to use a firearm in ways the enemy will never predict. I want that rifle. Do you want it in your shoulder as well? No. Oh, there's a jaw. <laughs> Why did this thing have a human jaw? <laughs> what the hell? Did you know whales have feet? Yes, they do. Vestigial feet. Mm hmm And bats, despite having giant wings, have five fingers. Yep. They use it to hold on to things. I'm pretty sure they don't. No, they do. Like, when they climb around on stuff, they use it to hold on to it. Oh. Did you know that if a bat is on the ground, it can't fly? R wait, really? Yeah, they have to jump off of things that are higher up to be able to start flying. They can't start flying on the ground. Are you, you sure? Yeah. Because there was a fruit bat that was in my house, and I caught it. And I put it out in a pile of snow. I'm like, all right, good enough. He'll fly away. Eventually, he probably climbed up something or died. <laughs> or died. Yeah. Don't make me feel too bad about it. Oh, we were here recently. Yes. Yep. We the Exus soldiers. Hey, you think Stimpak's old friend is corpse is still up here? No, probably. <laughs> I guess someone came by and took down his house for firewood. Yeah. Yay, we have arrived at Camp Foxtrot! And once again, you have christened it with your crippled body. Yes! God save my broken little body! Greetings, Ranger Hi. Kudlau. Anybody ever tell you you look kind of like Cass? If Cass were a badass, which she ain't. How fucking dare you? <laughs> How dare you, Mike? <laughs> this wouldn't be a bad duty station. Beats roasting down by the river, waiting to get bushwhacked by the Legion. Yeah. You're just saying that because it's all women. <laughs> Join the all-female platoon out here in the middle of nowhere. Female ranger. Female ranger. Female ranger. You mind if you slow down for a sec? Ah! I think I need to take five. Okay. Make that 20. In fact, I might just drop that here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trying to evacuate yourself when you do. <laughs> Are you all right, Vincent? What's up? <laughs> uh, it's just I'm dealing with half a lung here. I took a bullet in my chest about five years back. It's another reason I quit being a courier. Can't go a couple miles without getting winded. I replaced his lungs with his actual lungs. That was part of the original anatomy that I kept when I was building him. He didn't mention anything about a bullet being lodged in one of these things. You didn't think to look and see if maybe his lung was collapsed? It looks good enough. There's a bullet lodged in your chest. Yeah, funny stir behind it too. See, as a courier, you gotta make a lot of raw deals just to survive. Sometimes I paid in caps, other times I paid in blood. This was different. Thing is, the guy who owns the bullet, he wasn't trying to shoot it. He was trying to smuggle it. I... What? I... You're gonna have to explain that to me, Vincent. I say again, last over. A couple of gangs were calling a truce. They are gonna meet in this old war museum. Not a single gun in the whole place, save for the one in the display case. Of course, guns like that don't come with any bullets. So this chief, he gets an idea to smuggle one inside a courier. <laughs> he smuggled a bullet inside of the courier's body. Like it was contraband. What kind of gun was it? You would ask that. Fuck if I know, but I figured it was good enough to do the job. <laughs> no getting in a museum without killing somebody famous. <laughs> what did you get in exchange? Free ride through his parts of the waste. It was a pretty good deal, seeing as he'd be in charge of most of it. Alright, well how did you meet him? We shared the same deal there. I mean, shit, how else do people know each other? <laughs> I think you might have a slightly skewed view of how the world works, but what was the plan? I was supposed to show up in the middle of the meeting like it was part of my route. The idea was to take me aside and start working me over and cut the bullet out in the process. Only it sank in there pretty good, and the chief, he pushed it down further until it popped right into my lung. In the end, I don't know what he pulled out, but I'll tell you this, it wasn't a bullet. <laughs> oh my god. Why wouldn't you just swallow the bullet and then poop it out? That could damage the bullet, Zach. Come on, think about these things. I'm... I, what happened? 
pretty much what you'd expect. The Raider chief grabs the old dusty pistol and fires. When the shot doesn't do anything, the two chiefs end up trying to beat the shit out of each other. That's when I manage to crawl out the back. Long story short, now I got a bullet in my chest and two Raider gangs who want me dead. Okay then! That's all. Well, welcome to the group. We got plenty of Raider gangs. We'll have to replace those lungs next time. Yeah, since Mike didn't do it in the first place. I didn't think he would need to have different lungs. I thought the lungs he had were good enough, even though he smokes, they're coated in black tar. Well, why don't you just take ten? All right, relaxing's easy. Just gotta decide on the drug. Well, you make up your decision. We're gonna talk to some of these ladies around here. Yeah. You're here for the money. I told the Emeritus I was good for it. I just need more time. We're not here to break your legs or anything, Link. Stop being so twitchy. Yeah, what happened? I talked to the cashier at Gamora into forwarding me some chips. I was convinced I was due for a hot streak. It uh, didn't go so well. The Omertas were nice and said they'd give me some time to pay them back. They also said if they had to talk to me about my debt again, they wouldn't be nice the next time. We were just at the Omertas, and we killed a lot of people in there, so maybe if you go back, they won't recognize you. Under new management. <laughs> yeah, one way to put it, yeah. Russell still has this gun. In his armpit. Like, <laughs> you want a sling, man? It seems like a very bad way of carrying it. Yeah, it seems... He's had it surgically implanted in his shoulder. Very To go with the bullet that Vincent has in his lung. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we're supposed to talk to Hanley. What is it? Guy named Vickers said you could help us locate Chinchilla Mountain. Wait, that isn't Russell I see with you. Is it? Shit, it is. Ugly as ever. Wait. What the hell do y'all want with Chola Mountain? We need to speak with Henderson about a man named Glanton. You see, we're pursuing a bounty on him because we're legendary bounty hunters! I'm happy to help you and Russell, but I hope you know what you're getting into. I typically make a point to talk prospectors out of going there. Chola Mountain was a pre-war disposal site for nuclear waste with miles of underground tunnels. It's not far from the Divide, actually. Thing is... That place has always been brimming with radiation, and therefore ghouls. Ugh. Towards them, from what I hear. Radiation. On top of that, Hendershot's a paranoid nutjob who doesn't like unexpected guests. Honestly, I don't know anyone who's come back from there. If I can't dissuade you, here's the spot on your map. The only reason I'm telling you is because I know who Glenn is, and I hope you catch him. Of course, I'm obligated to help a fellow ranger. You and Russell are always welcome here. Be safe in there, and watch your ass. So you guys were in the Desert Rangers together? Yeah, humped a lot of miles together. Fought the same Legion fucks. Saved each other's lives at least twice. Wasn't bound to last, though. I can't blame him for not going along with the treaty. We all lost something that day. What's it like being in the NCR, as opposed to the Desert Rangers? I hate dealing with the pogues and shitbirds, but at least we have manpower backing us up. The Rangers are solid, no question about it. Would I prefer to be a Desert Ranger? Maybe. Would I rather be a part of something that can kick the shit out of Caesar's Legion? Definitely. Do you know what a pogue is? I was a pogue, so yes. I was a pogue too. Yes, we're both pieces of garbage. No, no, it means person other than grunt. Oh, yes, that's what I meant as well. <laughs> I, I prefer the term fobbit. Fobbit? Yeah, it's uh, someone that stays on the fob all the time, so they're a fobbit. <laughs> what was your job again? Weapon repair? Yeah, small arms repair. Small arms repair. Remember what my job was? Yeah, yeah, water maintenance. That's right. I'm the water purification guy. You That's want clean it. water? You come to me. I'll no, clean wa all your no, water. No, 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 no. You were water maintenance. You would go up to water and you would be like, ah, yes, the flange is loose and start trying to tighten the water with a wrench. <laughs> Not glamorous, really. That job is just as important as people who go around kicking down doors. Why did you join the NCR? Why not just leave? The Desert Rangers were a brotherhood, just like the NCR Rangers today. The banner changed, but the fight was basically the same. None of us thought any less of Russell for walking away. Some of the guys respected it, and a handful joined him. It's a hard thing to break ranks with your brothers and sisters in arms. I couldn't stand the thought of letting them fight without me. All right, then. If you'd have told me that Handley would end up a loyal citizen of the NCR, I'd have told you to stop using chems. Handley hated the NCR back when the treaty was signed. I thought he might leave with me. I guess time wearing their uniform changed things. Someone's got to take out the Legion, and if you're not going to, because you hate the California Rangers so much. Yeah, I mean, besides, he seems like a practical guy. He just kind of changed what he's doing. Yeah, most of them did the same. It's still a little disappointing to see him in an NCR uniform, but at least he's doing all right. 
He's not in an NCR uniform. He's in a Ranger uniform. Mike, you're still wearing those dumb goggles. Am I? If, if you say so, I can't see, so I'll take your word for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I can see! I can see again! Oh, God, the light is blinding! <laughs>